the potential for defaulting on the debt specifically is a, is a major concern for the small business community for a few reasons. Um, I'll start at the, uh, the big picture. One is just the overall uh, economic impact that could have a very significant jolt to the economy and small businesses will get hurt first. Uh, second, and, 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 and probably the most immediate concern to most small companies is what's going to happen to credit and capital markets. We, we, we've never done this before, so we're not sure. We know it won't be a good thing, but we, we're already in a, in a world of, of tightened uh, credit and tightened capital and tightened ability of small companies to get loans. And so uh, uh, we're, we're going to see those, uh, we, th we think, further restricted, uh, maybe quite dramatically uh, in, the, in the short term. Um, and then finally, for a very specific class of companies that, uh, that, that do business with the federal government, they have significant worries about even getting paid. Because uh, what happens when the government, what's, what would happen if we, if, if we hit the debt limit, basically is the government no longer has the ability to borrow money to pay its bills. So they're not going to shut down. But the Treasury Department is going to have to decide which bills are we going to pay today exactly. And I, I will guarantee you that the typical small business contractor is at the bottom of that list uh, to get paid. And so th those companies have employees, they have capital outlays, they've got to stay in business, and they cannot depend on the federal government paying those, those, uh, th those bills. And it's going to have a, a devastating impact on those companies.